Hello everyone, welcome back to another STEM challenge. Um, today we are going to make a, it's a, it's a 3D um, uh, surface creation. So I'm turning this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, it's, it's a 3D uh, picture or a 3D object, I guess you could say. And what we've done, my trees in the back are kind of falling down. What, what I've done here is, um, I'll pick it up and show you, is I've made just different layers. See how they're different layers? There are 12 different pieces of paper just on uh, a simple box uh, cardboard frame with little, um, with little cut slots in, in it. And I've made my trees too big because they're folding over. Because I'm just working with paper, that's all. Uh, you could work with cardboard to make it uh, a little stronger. But Okay, so let's see how this works. I'm going to move this off to the side. First thing you're going to need is what I've what I've done is uh, I made this actually out of a um, cracker box, okay? Because this box board, as I like to call it, is probably the best thing to use. Uh, you can use cardboard, but cardboard's a little harder to cut these out of. Um, so box board seems to be a little easier to, uh, to work with. So here's what we need. Uh, I need two of these, two pieces that are 10 centimeters long and three centimeters tall. I need two. And you're going to need um, two other pieces that are 13 centimeters long and five centimeters tall. So that's that, you need those two pieces. Okay, so you probably wanna stop the video and cut them out to start with. Uh, and, and then just start it up again when we're ready to go. And now these two pieces, all you need to do is cut them and put them off to the side, the 10 by three centimeters, right? But these pieces we have to do some work with. And what we've done here is, um, after I've cut them out, I lay them like this, and I'm facing this towards you, is I've drawn a line two centimeters up from the bottom on both, okay? And now what I'm doing, and I'm gonna work through one piece with this, is I've made one centimeter spaces, okay? And there's actually 12 of them. And what I've done is started a about a centimeter in, okay? From the edge, right? And I'm making 12 cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 cuts. Okay, this is the finished piece. So we'll work with this one right here. Okay. And as you can see, I have measured and made little marks every two centimeters. Or every, sorry, every centimeter. So there's one there, one there. I made little marks already ahead of time. Okay, and this line is two centimeters from the bottom. Okay, all the way across. So that I have, basically I have 12, 12 marks. And I did that at the top and at the bottom. Because what I have to do is I have to draw little lines. Because I'm going to cut on these lines. So if I keep drawing each line as I move along. And this is this this is a little tedious this challenge. There's a lot of little pieces to do, a lot of a lot of little cutting and and fiddly work as I like to call it. So now this is the tricky part. What we do what we need to do is we need to make cuts all along these lines. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. There's a cut there. There's a cut there. There's a cut there. So you wanna make a cut all the way along. And if you go a little farther past the line, that's okay. That won't matter. It's almost better if maybe you do go a little bit past the line and I'll show you why after. Okay, so I've made my 12 cuts. 
Okay, now, the paper piece it will fit in here, but it won't work because all you've done is you've cut the cardboard and if you put a piece of paper in it, you're adding more, more distance and it makes all the cardboard go, it makes it go crooked. We need to make a gap in there. Okay, do you see how there's gaps in, in this piece? All right. So now you need to decide which side you want to cut them on. I can't remember. Um, I think I did it on that side. So I'm cutting just another small little cut and there's no line for this one. Okay, so you're just cutting it beside the existing cut that you already made. And if you think it's a little too small, make it bigger. If you think it's a little too big, that's okay. It really won't matter. Okay, see so we're cutting another, making another cut because we want to cut, we want to take a piece, actually piece out, a piece of box board out. All right, and I'm almost done going like this. Going like this. And now, see, that's what I've done. So I've cut a little piece so it comes out. And what I found works really well if you take all your pieces first and push them down just to make sure that they're cut through. And it looks like this works. This is working pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, like this. So that one's not quite not quite cut well enough. I don't know why. And sometimes you gotta play with it a little bit. Um, it's okay. And if you mess up, you can either tape your piece back on again or just cut a new piece. All right. There, there's all my... Now you can either tear these off like that Right, you can kind of break them off, or you can just cut them. Right, you cut them off. And if you have that little piece left, that's okay. It won't make a difference. Right, and there we go. They're all cut off. Now I have my two pieces. Now we're going to tape them together and make our little box. This is an act, a build that we don't really need a lot of tape for. And this is also one of the things where I'm not sure if hot glue will really uh, make much of a difference. Now you want to try to put your tape, and I'm sorry, I'm going to be covering up the, uh, the numbers. Um, you want to put your tape below these little slots that you've made. Okay, and then, you know, line up the bottom. Okay, there's one side. And I think I'll put a piece of tape on here. I'm putting, um, I'm putting the, the writing from my box board on the inside. Eh, just to, just to make it look cleaner, that's all. Right, because I want the cardboard look on the outside. Now I just have to put this together like this. And you might need somebody to help you hold this. Okay, there's another one. Put this end on. And we're good. So you're just making a box, that's all. Alright, just a simple, just a simple frame frame box. Okay, but this box has no bottom and no top. Okay, there we go. Now we're all set. Now, this is what you'll end up with. Uh, the front, doesn't matter which is the front or the back. And <clears throat> what I've done is I, I've, I've made my sheets, I wanted it easy to have consistent pieces. <clears throat> okay, so I've taken Three, three sheets of paper, regular sheets of paper, and I'm going to fold them, <clears throat> okay? And I'm folding them in half like this. And then I'm going to open it. And you can do this any way you want. We just want, we want, 
We want to cut it in four sections because four times three is 12. We need 12 pieces of paper. So fold it once this way and fold it once this way and then you're just going to cut along all the folds. That's all. So however you do that, it doesn't matter as long as you have your four equal equal folds. All right, and this is the best way to make them reasonably equal. And if they're off a little bit, that's okay. It won't matter. All right, so after I cut them, I should have 12 pieces because I know that four times three is 12. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, and there's 12 because I know I skipped one because they stuck together. There. Now, this is the hard part. Um, I'm going to do a face, so I face you. Now, we start with the back, and this is going to be obviously your tallest point, right? And I'm not going to do a lot of drawing or coloring. Now, here's the problem with this paper is it does, it does fall, and I know on my tree, I thought it'd be a good idea at the time, but see, it, it, it flops around a lot because it, it, it's a thin, it's a thin piece that is not held on by too much, right? So I'm going to put it back. There we go. Move this one over. There, move it to the side. And I've colored mine, my first one, so it looks just like kind of a river and some grass and just, I made some hills. And all you do is, so I'm going to say, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it half. And this is where you can play around with it. Or maybe I'll make it, I'm going to fold it like this because I want that to be my, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to do real, real simple lines. So if I go like this, there. And it, you realize at a point at the end where you could actually save these pieces and do them later. Um, that's if you get better at it. Okay, so this is going to be my one at the back. There, it fits right in nicely. Now you can draw on it, you can color it, you can make a person coming out, you know, in the three pieces. Um, you know, a person in the front, maybe you can do um, them in something or on something and have it going from the front to the back. Now what you do is you take this, okay, and you put it on top, and I'm going to um, get my cardboard so you can see this better. There, that's better. All right, I'm putting this, this piece on top, and I'm drawing it facing you, and I'm going to trace the piece that I just did. Okay, it won't be perfect. I'm just going to trace it lightly, like this. And I'm not worried about putting a mark on this because I'm going to cut that. So this is a piece that I just did, right? I'm going to put it in the back. Now I'm cutting, now this is the piece I just did. Now I can decide, what do I want to change? I want to maybe make this a little smaller. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make it smaller like this, and I'm not going to go short. I'm just going to make this distance here different. So you can see, as you get to the front, the back pieces are taller, right? And the front pieces get shorter. So if you can see that, see there's the back piece, there's the front piece, and it's getting shorter so you see the difference. And you can make the scene as you go, right? Now I can do the same thing. I'm going to take this piece out. <clears throat> and I'm going to trace it again. Okay. 
there. So there's the one I just did. Now I'm going to put this in my box in the next slots. There we go. Okay, good. And now I want to change it because I want to make this a little lower. So I think I'm going to go maybe a little lower on this side, right? And then go up. Because eventually I think I want to start lowering this one down too. So here's where I'm cutting. Okay. And you can do any kind of scenes with this. You can do a house scene. You can do a, a traveling scene. Um, however, however you want to do that. And it just, it just becomes 3D. It's, it ends up being very cool. And you might need to practice with the pieces of paper. Okay, so when I put this one in now, there you can see how this is this is taller, shorter, and this is shorter, right? Taller, shorter, and shorter. And these are all the same size. So I think the next one I would do, I might make this one a little shorter, um, and I might make this one shorter as well. You can actually even go up a little bit here if you want to, but to be really effective, you need to kind of see what's at the back, right? Another one I've seen is they've made it come up and then down, right? They've made a hill in the middle, okay? And it, would look, it looks neat when it's, it's kind of sideways because you can see that curve. All right, so the next one, if I want to do that, I would start making the hill up like this, okay? Um, I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> Because this does, this does take time. <clears throat> All right, and then we pull this off. The last one we did, we put it on here. And we trace it. Okay. Like that. And that's why I put the tree in the background um, of... The other one but I made the tree too big I think one like this would be a little better it's a little smaller so if I put that back there this this one's a little these are these are a little short right um, there they are okay I'll put it back so yeah you might have to play with the paper a little bit to decide what you want to do and I just made a scenery um, seeing like a trees and grass um, just to see how it would work and um, no, I'll put this one back because that's my last I need to do one more so that so for this one if I decide that okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna make another valley I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna start up here but I'm going to start creating a little valley to go down. Right? And it's okay to drop down below your, your holder cardboard pieces. That's fine. Okay. And here's another one. So I think you get the idea of how this is done. All right, you just keep putting pieces in. And you always using 12. So you can pre-plan it as well. So you can see now it's taller here, it's getting shorter, it's getting shorter, and now it's getting shorter, and there's a little valley that's going on. Right? So you can do different pieces, like you do a person, you can do part of it with maybe the head, then the arms, then then the legs, you know, that sort of thing. You can do um, it uh, I'm not sure, but you can do just different scenes. Okay. And it's a lot of fun ends up being 3D and it does look cool when it's turned sideways as well, right? So this one, even though I have my floppy trees, if you hold it up like this, right? You hold it up, it does look kind of neat. If I get my papers in the right spots. It does look kind of neat if you you turn it sideways too. Okay, when you when you angle it. So there's a lot of possibilities with this. <clears throat> um, but it, it is a little tricky to make your box frame first. Right? And then after that, you can play with your pieces of paper and you do have leftovers. So you can do different scenes, um, try something different with uh, each set of papers. Okay? 
and um, and have some fun with it. So that's it for today. And uh, please share what you create. We would love to uh, have a look at it. And we will see you next time.